Travis, and welcome to my closet. Today, we're reviewing the Bosca Deluxe Front Pocket Wallet. It features a magnetic money clip and three slots for your cards with a wire matrix is what they call it, preventing um, any theft digitally through uh, your chips and your cards. Um, I, the name is escaping me, so I'll look it up real quick on their little handy card that they gave me. It's an RFID chip uh, prevention. So that's nice. Um, this card here talks about how they were established in 1911. They've been around for over 100 years. And uh, how it was um, done by an Italian immigrant named Hugo Boss, or Bosca. And uh, blah, blah, blah. Basically what it says is this is a unique product because it's 100% genuine leather. It's going to get worn in, not worn out. However, we have some huge problems that make this wallet um, completely useless in my repertoire of wallets. I, a couple of months ago, tried to get away from the bifold and go down to a slim wallet like this coach slim ID card case, which you can see the full review for right there. But the main problem I had with this is you can't really go cashless, even though I'm really trying these days. And the only place to put cash was in this center pocket. And that wasn't really feasible. So I upgraded to another coach product. And this is the one I've been carrying around for the past couple of months. I'm really happy with this. It easily carries eight plus cards if you double up on some of them. They're still accessible because uh, of the way that this elongation lays them out. The only problem with this is when you're carrying U.S. currency, you have to fold it like that um, to get it to comfortably fit. So we enter in today's product and I should have listened to what it was called. It's called a deluxe wallet. It's not a slim wallet. And this does not achieve the idea of what I'm going for. And that's low profile in your pocket. Um, that is its first big problem. Its second big problem is that it only has three card slots. So you can get a card in the back. You can get a card in the middle. And then this is where everything goes wrong. We will try to slide a card into the very bottom pocket. And that's as deep as it goes. It blocks the other cards. It starts to pile up on itself. And it just looks immediately tacky, leaving a card out just out in the air that far. Um, we are able to double up the cards, which is nice. So I'll double a few up with these old expired movie cards and whatnot. So we've doubled up those. But once again, going into that front pocket, it completely covers the other cards. It adds bulk and thickness. Look how thick this is now. That's that's your thickness of a bifold, of a nice slim bifold. Um, so you're, you're, it looks tacky. It looks, everything's hanging out. Um, it's not pleasant. This pocket in the middle becomes pretty hard to access once there's cards in there. So yeah, you could bury a couple cards you don't use very often in that pocket, but you're going to be fishing for them and struggling. And as I can see now, stretching out the leather, uh, trying to get things in there. Um, I'll do a profile test on this product and I will show you what the Coach Slim, well this isn't the Slim, this is the zip card case, but it is extremely thin if you compare it. Um, let's see, I'll eyeball it. It's, it's about, I mean, I don't know, but we'll do the pocket test. And I should have worn some lighter pants, but you can see there the profile of it is quite large in dress pants. 
Um, it it definitely is not not any slicker or anything than a standard bifold. Um, the slim ID card case, which I will be fair and put the money back in. Let's see here. Let's tuck this money back in here. So it's at its typical max capacity. And that in the same pocket has almost an invisible profile uh, in comparison. So if you're not looking to go slim and you're just looking for a good leather product, then I could recommend this. Um, the, the paperwork did say that it is going to pick up scars and blemishes, but that's part of its beauty. However, just in handling this wallet for the last couple of hours, it has already taken on a scar. And when I was at Dillard's, I specifically picked this one out of the bunch because I didn't want a scar or look at that. That's just from me handling. I haven't even worn it out of the house. That's just me handling it in the process of trying to get ready for this review. Um, that for me, um, that's not beauty. That's not wearing in. Um, that's an ugly blemish on a brand new wallet, which I will be returning because not because of the money clip, the thickness. I knew that when I bought it, it's solely because once you put your cards in that bottom card sticks out and overlaps the other cards that makes it look just tacky, cheap. Um, un <laughs> it's as if they didn't put any thought into it. And this elongated zip pocket has the cards so that you can see each individual card. And it's really, I mean, it is elongated, but if we compare, I'm trying to get a good comparison here. It is a mere inch longer, maybe an, maybe an inch and a half, inch and a fourth. All right, guys, I'm Travis. Thanks for hanging out in my closet. Bye.